Welcome back with a new video. In this video, let us solve some problems on binary tree. Now I do have some introductory videos on binary tree. The link for those can be found down below in the description section of this video. Now let us do a quick recap of what a binary tree is. Let us take an example. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a binary tree is a tree whose elements can have at most two children. So it can also have just a single child like this, or it might not have any child at all. So even this is a binary tree. Now since each element in a binary tree can only have two children, we typically name them the left child and a right child so this is the left child of one three is the right child of one four is the left child of two five is the right child of two so a binary tree will then contain the following parts so we will have some data so the node data then we will have a reference to the left child so Let's name it as left and a reference to the right child of this node or any other node. So a typical node can be represented using these three properties or using these three parts, right? So let us first discuss the problem that we will be solving in this video. So the first problem is to check for children some property. In a binary tree so let us take an example where the children sum property is indeed satisfied so if we take this example 15 and here say 10 and 5 here 7 and 3 and here say 4 and 1 so if you consider 15 then the left child is having a node value of 10 the right child is having a node value of 5, so it gives us 10 plus 5, 15, which does match with the node data. If we take these two node values, 7 plus 3 gives us 10, 4 plus 1 gives us 5. So this tree indeed satisfies the children's sum property. So let us see how we can solve this problem. Let us understand the approach that we will be using for solving this problem. So the idea here is that we will be using recursion to solve this problem. For each node, as we go over it, we recursively check if the node and both its children, so the left and the right child, whether they do satisfy the children's sum property. If they do, then we return true, else we return false. So let us head over to Visual Studio Code and here let us create a new file and name it as binary tree children sum property dot js. Now here we need to do a couple of things first. We need to create a class or we need to define a blueprint of what our node should look like. So let us create a class node and define our constructor function. And this expects to get some data. So this dot data set to data. This dot left set to null to begin with for any new node that gets created its left reference will be set to null and its right child reference will also be set to null and then let us uh, create a variable for the root node now let us create a function if children some property that is for it and this expects to get a node so we need to recursively check for each and every node of our binary tree whether the children sum property holds for that node or not. So if our node is null, we can simply return true. So if our tree is an empty one or our tree does not exist, then the children sum property is indeed satisfied. Or if a node's left child is null and the nodes right is also null 
then also we can return true because this is a leaf node a leaf node is a node whose left and right child is null so if you consider 7 it's a leaf node its left is null and its right is also null now if a particular node is not null we need to check for its left and right so if a node does have a left then we need to grab the date of its left child and if a node does have a right child as well then we need to grab the data of its right child and then we need to see whether that node satisfies the children's own property and then we also need to recursively check that if that node's left and right child themselves also satisfy this children's own property so let us see how we can do this so here let us add an else statement so here let us first go at the top and declare two variables let left child data set this to zero to begin with and right child data set this to zero as well and now here for left child data if the notes left is not null so we do have a reference to the left child of a node then we can grab the data of the left child of that node so this means that if this thing comes out to be true then assign this value to this right and similarly if we do have a right child for the node so the node dot right is not null then we can assign the right child's data to the right child data variable like this now we need to recursively check for the children sum property so here we need to make our two recursive calls so const csp so children sum property satisfied from left and here let me add is for the nodes left we need to call our function so we need to record from the left so is children some property satisfied and here we need to pass nodes left and then we can do the same thing here is csp satisfied from right is children some property satisfied and here we need to pass the nodes right and now we need to place our check here so if the nodes data matches with the left child data plus data and and the is children some property is satisfied from the left and is children some property satisfied from the right so if this is the case then we can return true else we return false so now let us quickly create our tree first here is the tree that we will be using for this question so here let us first initialize our root node so root node new node and so using the new keyword we are instantiating a new node based on the node constructor function and we need to give this a value of 15 so now the root nodes left and right is null so now we need to set the root nodes left to 10 so new node 10 then root nodes left is 10 its left should be 7 now so new node 7 root node dot left dot right this should be 3 then root node dot right new node 5 and root node dot left dot right which is 5 dot left new node 4 and root node dot right dot right new node 1 so here let us place an if check if the is children some property is satisfied for our root node then we can say console.log the given tree satisfies the children some property else we can log to the console the given tree does not satisfy the children some property so let us try this out let us run the file node binary tree 
children some property dot js and you can see it says the given tree satisfies the children some property if i change this value to say 5 and then run the file you can see now we get the given tree does not satisfy the children some property if i just remove these statements and just have a tree with a node that has the value 5 and then run the file you can see it says the given tree satisfies the children some property so you can see everything works like a charm and let us now do a quick dry run of our code let us uh, perform the following statements on this tree so first for the node 15 this is children some property satisfied gets called so here we set up the left child data to zero the right child data to zero now if our node is null or the nodes left is null and node right is null so if any of these two conditions is satisfied then we return true but for our case this condition doesn't hold true so we come to the else part now here we check for the nodes left that is the left child of 15 which is 10 so we do have a left child of 15 the left child of 15 is not null so this is true so we take the left child data which is 10 and set this to the left child data variable 10 and the right child data variable will be 5 because the right child of 15 is 5 so it's not null so we assign 5 to the right child data variable now we make a recursive call for the left child of 15 so this will run on its own we will place our faith in this call so this time the is children some property satisfied function gets called for the node 10 now for this call we will have its own code so we will again create two variables left child data and right child data both will have an initial value of zero this check will not pass so we make it to the else block and here we have the nodes left data which is seven nodes right data which is three for ten so let me write seven and three here so seven seven and three now again it's time for a recursive call so we go to the left child of ten so we come to seven and again our function is children some property satisfied gets called with the value uh, with the node that has a value of seven so we again create these two variables left child data and right child data so so for this node the left is null as you can see the right is also null so we return true from here so from seven we are returning true to to the function that made this call so we are returning this back to the call for 10 so from here we are getting true now we are back to 10 so this line is now done for 10 now for 10 we need to make the recursive call for the nodes right so for 10s right which is 3 so for 3 this call will be made and we create two variables left child data and right child data both are set to 0 to begin with and for 3 this condition holds which is node left is null and right is also null because this is a leaf node so we return true from here so this true gets returned and here it gets stored in this constant now we are back to the function call for 10 where we have is csp satisfied from left as true and is csp satisfied from right also as true so we are getting true from both the left and right child of 10 so now what we need to do is we need to run this statement so if the node data is equals to the left child data plus right child data and the is children some property is satisfied for the nodes left and nodes right as well then we return true else we return false so here the node data is 10 the left child data is 7 and the right child data is 3 so 10 is indeed equals to 7 plus 3 so for this we have true and for these two also we have true as you can see so here we return true from 10 as well so now the is children some property satisfied call for 15 from the left side is done so now for the node 15 this line will run and we will record for the right subtree for 15 so we come right here now for this is children some property satisfied 
function gets called for the node that has a value of 5. So left child data, right child data both are created with the values of 0. Now this condition doesn't hold true for 5. So we make it into the else block. Now we check for whether we do have a left child for 5. We do have one. So the left child data is 4 and the right child data is 1. Both of which are not null. Now it's time to make our recursive calls for 5's left and 5's right. So first, is children some property satisfied? Function gets called for the 5's. For this node's left, which is 4. So we go to the top. And here the node that has the value 4 gets passed. So left child data and right child data variables are created both with an initial value of 0. Now for 4, the node's left is null and node's right is null. So we return true from here. So now this call is done and we are back to 5. So we need to resume from here to the next statement. So is children some property satisfied? And now the node's right is 1 for... So we make a call for 5's right. So now the call is placed for the node that has a value of 1. We create two variables, left child and right child, both of which have an initial value of 0. Then the left and right for 1 are both null. So we simply return true from here as well. So from the left we are getting a true and from the right of 5 we are also getting a true. So now we are back to 5 and here we need to run this statement for the node that has the value of 5. So node.data is 5, left child data is 4 and the right child data is 1. So 5 is indeed equals to 4 plus 1. So we return true from here as well. And we are now back to 15. So now for 15, we get a true from the left. So from the side of 10, we are getting true. And from the right of 15, we are getting a true. So we run this statement now. So if no data is equals to left child data plus right child data, which is 15 is equals to 10 plus 5, which is true. And is children some property satisfied from left, which is true because we are getting true from here. And is children some property satisfied from right is also true as you can see. So all these three conditions are true. So we can simply return true for 15 as well. And this is how this problem gets solved using recursion. So I hope my explanation was crystal clear. So this is how we can solve the problem of children some property satisfaction for a binary tree. So let's catch up in the next videos where we will solve more problems on binary trees.